this is the auction I will be attending today and hopefully buy some more electrical test equipment for my workshop. I'm inside the shop now and here are some of the many things that will be going up for auction today. Here is a really large old battery charger. There is plenty of armature wire to rewind electric motors. This shop sold brand new electric motors as well as rewinding old motors. So there's plenty there to buy today. This is the item that I'm most interested in. It is the Variac. I've just come home from the auction and I was the most successful bidder on the Variac and I got it for $75. But there is a major problem with it. The control handle has been broken. There's too much missing. So I decided I won't make a casting for it. I'll end up making something out of a piece of wood. I have just found a piece of red gum and I've machined it in the lathe. There you can see the wood and I've painted it and I've put a, a pointer on it and that'll be the new control knob for the Variac. I have drilled a hole in the knob and tapped it out and put a grub screw in and that's how it will be locked to the shaft. The reason why I wanted this Variac is my old Variac was only rated for 2 amps. This Variac is rated for 10 amps but also there's another feature on it. My old Variac only went from 0 volts to 260 volts this one goes from 0 to 280 volts and we'll give it a test and we'll see exactly what the voltage goes up to two hundred and ninety two volts more than enough for what I need another great feature with this Variac the last owner put two bridge rectifiers in this power point so one is variable DC which is there and the other one at the bottom is line DC here is one of the uses for a Variac in an emergency you can charge up your 12 volt battery I'll just connect up the battery to the Variac Now watch the voltage as I bring it up it starts to rise like it is now and also the amps there the battery is charging up of course as the voltage rises up you've got to back off the voltage I get a lot of transformers given to me. Here is an example. There's no identification as to what the voltages are. So I've got five leads. There's two red, one brown, one green and yellow, and one blue. But this is where the Variac comes in its own. I can use this to find out exactly what the voltages are on the primary and secondary side. I've got two meters connected up. This meter is connected to the red wires and this meter is connected to the blue and brown wire. Now I'm assuming that the red wires are the secondary windings and I've got a light connected to the other side so I'll increase the voltage very slowly and we'll see what happens. Right, straight away that tells me something. That's 41 volts and that's 10 volts. So I've got to back the front. That's why you have to use these very carefully. Now we'll increase it a little bit more.
Now that one's about 35 volts and you can see the light starting to glow. Now we'll bring it up to 240 volts. Alright, now we've found out that's the primary, 240 volts in and it's 60 volts out on the other side. I have disconnected the multimeter and now I've got it from the blue wire across to the green and yellow wire and we'll increase the voltage and again we'll see what happens. The other windings were 60 volts, we'll see what these ones go up to. Alright, there's 240 volts roughly, so it's 30 volts. It's possibly a center tap transformer. The transformer has been reversed, so I've got the blue and green and yellow wire coming in from the variac into the transformer, and that's the voltage measuring going in and then going out the red wires go to this meter here. Now I'll show you why it's so important to very slowly raise up the voltage. So we've got 11 and a half volts here and we've got 90 volts on there. And I know there that it's something wrong and I can't go much further. But if you do go much further the Variac makes a loud humming noise. I'll give you a demonstration. It's making a loud humming noise now and I've got to back off very quickly so you don't burn out the Variac. This is how you can test transformers. In the last experiment with the Variac I'll be using the variable DC function to charge up electrolytic capacitors and then discharging them. At the end of the video you will see two snapshots to show exactly what happens when a capacitor is discharged. 406 volt test, 